Pet love with Pat's two cents. Message from God. What is it, my child? You have no rest. Is it hard for you to believe that you've been blessed? I am your God. I know how you feel. I have the power to heal. You must remember, your life is in my hands. I came that you might have life abundantly to set the captives free, bind up the brokenhearted. <laughs> Remember, your life is in my hands. Now that's part of a song that I wrote. And I really hope that it encourages somebody who may feel like the world's biggest loser, so to speak, or one of God's biggest losers. The Bible said that the race is not for the fast, for the swift, putting this in everyday language. It's for those that endure until the end. Whoo, I'm feeling this. Um, what the Lord is putting in my mind now. I remember I've seen races where the, uh, the, the, the guys are on the bicycles and they're really going for it. And then all of a sudden something crazy happens and the bike loses its balance. And then one rider tumbles and the next rider tumbles over that one. And all those guys now, they're basically out of the race as far as the rules are concerned about winning, but not according to God's rules. What God would tell those bikers is get up on your bike, dust yourself off, and start pedaling. And you don't stop pedaling until you reach the finish line. It's not who reaches it first, it's not who's the fastest. It's not even who's the strongest. It's who finishes the race that wins. So even the one coming in last place, even if they have to walk their bike in because the bike has been damaged, they stay in the race until they cross that finish line. That is all God is asking you to do. He's not asking you to be perfect. He knows that is impossible in our flesh. That's why he gave us the power of his Holy Spirit. All he wants you to do is continue without giving up. Keep the faith. Stay in the race. Endure until the end and you will receive your promised reward. God bless you.